Hello, sports fans and football fans and fans of the XFL. I know more of you got to be coming out of the woodwork now, especially if you're a Defenders fan like I am. So we're going to recap the games of week five, and I'm going to give you my picks like I do every week. And this week, I'm going to give you my picks for week six in the XFL. But first, let's take a look back at week five. I came into the week, if you will recall, at with a record of, uh, what was it, 14 and 2. I was 14 and 2 through 16 games. Well, in week five, I had my worst week yet. My worst week of the season, I was 2 and 2. So the first game was on uh, Thursday, March 16th, and that was the Roughnecks at the Sea Dragons. I had the Roughnecks win in this game. They came into the game undefeated. I thought they would beat the Sea Dragons, although the Sea Dragons are showing that they're a pretty decent team. And I knew that going in, but the Roughnecks were undefeated. It was tough to pick against them. But I did, and I paid for it. The Sea Dragons won at home 21-14. Uh, as you can see, um, Silvers, or Slivers, for the... Uh, for the Roughnecks, uh, had 227 yards passing, one touchdown and one interception. And um, Alaney, I don't know how you pronounce his name, had five carries for 35 yards. For the uh, Sea Dragons, um, Pearson had five carries for, what is that, 82 yards. Wow. So that took us to the Saturday games and my defenders, and I picked the defenders to win. They also <coughs> came into the game undefeated, and guess what? They're still undefeated. They came in um, against the Battle Hawks, and I was, you know what? I was on the fence on this one. I was almost going to take the Battle Hawks at home, but I didn't. I, I stuck with my defenders, and they came through for me. They won 28 to 20. Um, McCarron for the uh, Battle Hawks had uh, 236 yards passing and two touchdowns. Smith for the Defenders had 23 carries for 218 yards and three touchdowns. And Butler for the uh, Battle Hawks had nine receptions for 86 yards. Then you had the uh, Guardians. At the Vipers. This game, I took the Vipers. Both teams were bad. Both teams are still bad. But the Vipers hung on and they won. And I picked them at home to win. Uh, Perez for the Vipers had 269 yards and three touchdowns. And um, Smith for the Vipers had 18 carries for 62 yards and two touchdowns. For the... Um, for the Guardians, Latimer had eight receptions for 124 yards and a touchdown. And then that brought us to the last game of the weekend, the Sunday game, March 19th. And this was the Renegades at the Brahmas. And I had the, uh, I had the Brahmas winning at home in this one. Um, I wasn't impressed with the Renegades, and really I'm still not. I mean, you can see this game was 12 to 10. And it's probably not because both teams have a stifling defense. Um, Sloter for the uh, for the Roughnecks or for the uh, Renegades had 148 yards and one interception. And you'll remember Sloter was on the, um, uh, the on the Breakers in the USFL uh, last season. So you're probably going to see a lot of that too. D. Smith for the uh, Renegades had 19 carries for 44 yards and a touchdown. And Ballage for the uh, Brahmas had five receptions for 42 yards. So there you go. I was 2-2, two and two, which makes me on the season 16-4. and four. But that's still pretty good. 16 out of 20 games I got right. 80%. I'm picking at 80%. So, we're going to go on to week six and see what we got in store there. 
Okay, so the first uh, two games will be on Saturday. They're going to do a uh, ooh, they're going to do a Monday game. There's going to be some Monday night football this week. So you've got the um, the Saturday game is the Sea Dragon. Or the first Saturday game at one o'clock is the Sea Dragons at the Guardians. No brainer here. I'm taking the Sea Dragons big time over the Guardians. Uh, and then at 7, you've got the Battle Hawks and the Vipers. Even though the Vipers are at home, I'm going to go with the Battle Hawks. The Battle Hawks are a good team. Um, my defenders <laughs> just got the best of them. And then on Sunday, Sunday, you've got the Brahmas at the Renegades. And um, this is going to be a 3 p.m. game. Um this is a tough one, but I'm going to take the Renegades at home. Uh, the Brahmas, you know, I'm not really that impressed with the Brahmas, and they're going to be on the road uh, in Texas. So I'm going to I'm going to go with the Renegades here. And then you got the Monday game, and that's the Roughnecks and the Defenders. This game could have been a game of two undefeated teams, except that the Roughnecks lost last week. So. Um, you know, the Defenders are at home. They're my favorite team. They haven't lost yet. So, I mean, why would I pick them to lose this week? So, I'm going to go with the Defenders in that one. So, let's recap my picks on Monday night. You're going to have uh, the Defenders. I've got the Defenders over the Roughnecks. Um, I have the Renegades over the Brahmas on Sunday. And then on Saturday, I've got the... Um, Battle Hawks over the Vipers and the Sea Dragons over the Guardians, picking both visiting teams on Saturday. So what do you guys think? You think my picks are uh, crazy off the wall? Well, you shouldn't because I'm 16 and four on the year. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, um, what teams you would uh, would see yourself picking here. And uh, I will. See you on the uh, other side.